So what is going on people and welcome to episode 52 of the Barnsley Career Mode here on FIFA 21. And well we won't be saying that for too much longer now will we? The new game coming out in just a couple of weeks time. I hope you're excited for it. I certainly am. But we need to finish this career mode and well we, better, we may as well get started. If you are looking forward to this episode make sure that you pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel. We recently passed 250 subscribers so just want to say thank you very much for your continued support and yeah hopefully I'm going to try and get as much of this done. We're going to end the career mode for Barnsley this season um, and we need to get the season finished. We're still in September so I'm trying to get as many uploads as possible between now and the release of the new game. Well, it may well be a little bit of a challenge knowing my upload schedule. Um, as you guys know, a bit sporadic. Sorry, I only got one episode out last week. I was planning to release the first race of the F1 career mode. I had a little bit of a problem with that while I was recording it. So uh, that set me back a little bit. But yeah, so that will be coming out soon. But for now, the focus is going to be FIFA. We'll try and drop in some F1 as and when we can. But let's have a look at how we are getting on so far. After the last episode, we sit in 7th place then. 5 points off the top. A couple of unbeaten sides in there still. One of them, namely Fulham. A very good start to them this for them this season. Liverpool at the top. United and City close behind. And then, uh, yeah, a few teams you might not expect to have had a good start to the season. If we have a look at what we've, coming, uh, what we've got coming up in today's episode... Words are hard apparently. So it's Forest to start with in the Carabao Cup. We then have a trip to Burnley in the Premier League before our second Europa League group game at home to Red Bull Salzburg. Of course, we got our Europa League group stage campaign off to a flyer with a 3-1 win at Celtic. As you can see, a 3-2 defeat at Old Trafford and a 4-0 win against West Brom last time out. But that is enough for now. Never you mind then, let's jump into the game against Forest. It will be the same as last time, as you can see, you can't see me. So I'll just bring a bit of different commentary to the uh, to the game. So this is our lineup then for the Forest game in the Cup. Omlin is in goal, Kraft comes in, Garcia Helic and Ruggiero comes in as well. Belkebla, Gasinovic and Sangali in the midfield with Silva, Frieza and Thomas are front three. So a few changes for this one, then Gusinovic coming in as well. I think Frieza getting a rare appearance after Lucas Vazquez's arrival at the club. be interesting to see how Forrest line up, of course, in the championship still. I do believe Bryce Samber in goal, Lawrence Gabriel on base. So Scott McKenna, Danny Preston, Cafu, Ryan Yates, Alex Maiton, Konstantin Kcheyev, Brennan Johnson and Kruger. So... Not a massively strong Forest lineup, it must be said, but some names in there that we certainly do recognise, likes of Cafu, Brennan Johnson as well as a highly tipped youngster. And we get into the game then, and it's a, uh, a free kick that is going to be given to Nottingham Forest on the outside, well, about 30 yards out, as you can see, lining this one up. Is it Cafu destroyed? No, he dummies it, lays it off, and it's going to be a long-range strike, and it's blocked. Cafu gets the knock on and Brennan Johnson, well, a lovely little control volley. Omnin sort of was a bit in no man's land there. It looked like he was going to come out to meet it, but he stopped about halfway. He obviously realised Johnson was going to get there in front of him. And, well, the championship side have taken the lead here in this cup tie. It actually strikes Cafu on the heel, it looks like, and flicks up into the air. He wins the header and then knocks it on. But anyway, we come forward again. But just over halfway through this first half, it's freeze on the left-hand side. Back to Ruggiero. Inside now to Sangali. Belkebler, Kasinovic is going to hit one from distance. And my word, what a finish that is. Bryce Samba scrambling across his goal. He can't get there. And Kasinovic lost his place in the team to Morgan Gibbs-White this season. And well, maybe staking a claim. One touch with his left. He hits it with his right. A little bit of draw. Starts outside the post, just curls back in. Absolutely superb technique. And well, we win the ball and come forward again here. Kasinovic releases Fabio Silva, but he's carrying on his run. Kasinovic, he's in behind here. He has to score. And he's shot straight at Bryce Samba. And he's tipped it over the bar, but we come forward again. Ruggiero on this left-hand side gets tackled over. Alex Mighton, it will go out for a throw-in. Ruggiero 
to Dominic Frieza. Gets a ball in. Fabio Silva will get there. And my word, the power on the header. Too much for Bryce Samba to handle. It's in the back of the net. What a header that was. The determination to get on the end of that was superb from the striker. Just played in between the two centre-halves. Got a bit of a clattering, did Fabio Silva. We really met it well. And, uh, yeah, he puts us 2-1 in the league. Gasinovic is in again here. Tries to strike. Samba equal to it again. Really fooling the uh, the, the uh, Slovenian, is it? After his first goal. Helic gets on the end of that one. But it's straight into the gloves of Bryce Samba. And that is half time. Fairly frantic, it must be said. So frantic, I can't even keep up. But that is half time. We move then into the second half. And Forrest... Uh, the first team with a highlight here just before the hour. Cafu, lovely little ball over the top. It's a great save from Omlin. And the rebound, Helic is there on the six-yard line. Omlin with a third save. I forgot about that sequence. I was absolutely buzzing. The, the block from Mikel Helic was superb. But he, he gets a wrong foot here by Carvalho. He comes through. Lovely save from Omlin. Kuchayev on the rebound hits the upright. And we get away with one there. Forrest really pushing in the second half. But Silva can play in Gasinovic. Freezer is there on the outside of the area. Cuts back. Loses Lawrence Gabriel. Will he try and bend when he does the shot? Straight at Bryce Samba though. And I think that may well be the last action as we enter injury time. Forrest looks to come for a good tackle from Mikhail Hellick though. And Freezer can just run this one down into the corner. Run the clock down. Tries to get a strike in. Oh, my word. Tries to get a strike in. Tries to get a cross in. It's actually come back off the post. I'm not too sure what the keeper was doing. He was obviously confident it wasn't going to go in, but a little bit awkward as it comes off the post. The full-time whistle goes. The fans go wild. I don't know why they do that in the cup, in it like the third round, where the fans go, would go wild as if they've just won it. But never mind. Forrest, they put up a good fight, to be fair to them. But they have been beaten. We do end up coming out on top. Emil Kraft there, as you can see, coming into the side. Putting in a good performance. 2-1 we win in this round. Not sure if it's the second or third round of the Carabao Cup, it must be said. But never mind, we progress. And we progress in this episode too. An away game against Burnley. Will Norris in goal for them. Loughton, Thomas, Delorco and Peters at the back. Yanazai, Phillips, De La Cruz and Brady in the field. Hamel and Ashley Barnes. Up top four, so a very different look, Burnley, it must be said. Yanazo, probably their key player. Whereas for us, this is our lineup Omnin in goal. Baku, Anderson, Medina, and Willems come into the side. Gibbs White, Bokebler, and Gasinovic. And then Vasquez, Tyrese Campbell, and Dominic Freezer. So a bit of rotation after a tough cup tie in midweek, it must be said. Some new faces in there. But. We will have the confidence. Burnley been a hunt, happy hunting ground for us in the past. And well, hopefully it will be again. Gasinovic outside the area. Loves a long foot, long range strike, doesn't he? Left footed this time. Will Norris does well to tip over the bar. Williams there. Tyrese Campbell meets there. Meets the header. But heads it wide as we come forward again. Quarter of an hour gone now at Turf Moor. It's Gasinovic bursting forward. Has to cut back. Finds... Gibbs White, who finds the run of Lucas Vasquez with all the time and space in the world. And he is going to grab his first goal for Barnsley. The ex-Real Madrid man. Well, I feel like his career has only gone from, uh, you know, it's got it's gotten a lot better, hasn't it? Swapping Real Madrid for Barnsley. But he couldn't have a much simpler finish to grab his first goal for the club. And that is him off the mark. And that was all the action in the first half. Not too much, it must be said, in terms of action at Turf Moor. But as we said previously, a happy hunting ground in the past. And it seems to be proving that way again as we move into the second half now. Kucinovic, lots of space on this left-hand side for Freezer. He'll play one into the path of Tyrese Campbell. One touch out of his feet. The strike across the keeper and just after the hour mark. Barnsley take a 2-0 lead. Tyrese Campbell, a player who isn't that highly rated, but I really enjoy using in this career mode, it must be said. I think his pace... He's really good, decent finisher as well. Just one of those players that, if you put invest the time into, it could probably be something really special. As we move forward again here, and there's Lucas Vasquez into the area. Oh, tries to beat Norris at his near post, but the keeper equal to it. Williams will get the corner in, trying to meet it. It's Dominic Freezer, and well, he's got ahead of his man, 
and he's found the back of the net with the header. Normally, we look for Mikhail Helic in those situations, but he's not there. No one at the front post this time, but a lovely ball from Williams. Freezer does really well. No one on that far post. He's angled that header beautifully. The keeper will get nowhere near it. And that is the points wrapped up for our trip to Bernie Williams with the corner in. Looking for a... Oh, it's a good save from Norris this time. I think it's Anderson who's got on the end of that. And Williams with another corner. Can we whip this in? Amy for Campbell. And it's headed away by Peters. And there will be another corner for us. Can we find the back of the net once again? Willems looking to find Campbell again. He gets on the end of that one and forces Norris into the save and it's going to be a fourth corner in a row. Willems gets the ball in and this time Peters heads it away convincingly. And I think that is pretty much going to be that for this one. Willems playing defensive midfield <laughs> in this uh, little bit of a reshuffle at the end of the game. But nevertheless, that brings us to full time. 3-0 the result. And well, uh, Turf. I keep wanting to say Ewood Park for some reason, but Turf Moor proving to be rather fruitful for us. And we move into the final ep game of the episode then against Red Bull Salzburg. This is our team then, and it does it in number order. It's fairly strong. Omnim, Baku, Garcia, Helic, Willems, Decore, Gibbs, White, Sangali, Thomas, Silva and Vazgay. That's okay, one booking away from suspension, but we are pretty much at full strength. At this point, I think I've been sort of toying between Decore and Belkebla for that defensive midfield role. Are there any names to recognise in this Salzburg team? Philip Billing is a name I recognise there. I can't say I don't recognise anyone else. But Philip Billing, where's Sol Oh, I was going to say, gone back to his homeland, but uh, uh, he's Danish, isn't he? Philip Billing, I think, on Salzburg, of course, in Austria. So never you mind. But let's get this one underway then. And well, less than a minute into the game, we join this one. Thomas busting a gut to get down this right-hand side. We'll cut back onto that left foot inside to Fabio Silva. Gibbs White has the strike. It falls to Sangali. And his first time strike beats the keeper. And inside four minutes, we take the lead against Red Bull Salzburg. And this man is loving European competition right now. I'm pretty sure he's got two against... Did he score two against uh, Celtic or just the one? He scored against Celtic either way. And well, he scored against Salzburg. And we come forward again here. Just over 20 minutes gone. It's Decore. He's got space to run into the area. He tries to find the near post, but Stankovic equal to it. That's one thing you do get from Decore. That you don't really get from Bel Keblos. Decore will make those runs forward every so often. But Williams delivering the corner in. Aim so it's Fabio Silva who meets it at the near post and it's a lovely header. He had to sort of it was a bit awkward for him to get to that. He had to stretch and he got connected with it at a bit of an awkward angle, as you see there, stretching for it, but he beats the keeper and the man on the post. It's, well, two superb headers from Fabio Silva in this episode so far. And well we find ourselves 2 0 up against Salzburg as they come forward here for the first time in the game, just over half an hour gone. On this left-hand side, the man's got a bit of space there, and a quick shot into a, a quick pass into a Dami who tries to hit it on the turn, but the, uh, the shot didn't have much venom in it, and we can come forward now. Garcia moves forward out of defence well, and Silva's making the run. We'll just wait for the run of Thomas, and well, they sold a couple of defenders there. Luke Thomas into the area. He's losing the defenders, and Luke Thomas. Well, we've gone from back to front there, and Luke Thomas won't have a much simpler finish. In his career, he's probably had fairly similar goals to this, to be honest, that I can't remember. But that one's fairly easy, he just run a long way, timed his run really well. He's lost his defender and curled that one into the far post. It's 3 0 at the half time step, at the half time whistle for Barnsley in Europe. We are absolutely dominating this group right now, it's safe to say. Of course, next in this group, we have FC Copenhagen. Hopefully we can decimate them as well. Adamu forces a good save out of Omlin. And that one goes behind for the corner. Omlin very happy with his stop. As you can see, another first time strike from Adamu. This one has a bit more power on it. But straight at Omlin once again as some substitutes are being made. Freezer on for Vasquez for us. And that, well, Silva brings it down. But he, that's oh my god, there's a calamity in the area. And Carlos Jr. has put that one away. Well, 
A bit of a moment there in defence, some calamitous defending. I thought it was Silva, you know, he's trying to bring the ball down in the area, never a good idea. There's a clearance, not great, he tries to bring it down. The clearance then hits Silva on the back, it bubbles off someone else, falls to Junior, and he tucks that one away. But we will move in to added time, and there goes the full time whistle. Two, three, one score lines in Europe thus far. We can't seem to keep a clean sheet. Which is a little bit frustrating, but we are getting the wins, we are getting the points. And that is all that matters at the end of the day. Six points from six in Europe, but we have if we have a look at the Premier League table then. We sit in sixth place then up one spot. Only one league game play, of course played today. It's up to sixth, five points still adrift of Liverpool. Fulham still got their unbeaten record, and that's actually who we start with in the next episode. But United, they've dropped off a bit. Looks like they lost their last game. City pick up a win. Newcastle still up there as well. Chelsea moving up into the top half of the table. If we look down the bottom, Arsenal and Spurs still having a rotten start. And no wins for West Brom and newly promoted Sheffield Wednesday. Could be long seasons for them. If we have a look at what's to come in the next episode, then moving to the month of October, as we said, we start with that game against Fulham. And then a trip to St Mary's to face Southampton before a trip to Denmark to face FC Copenhagen. So guys, that is it for this episode. I hope you have enjoyed this one. If you have, as I said earlier, pop a like on there for me. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you once again for letting me hit 250 subs. The support has been incredible. We're on our way up. Let's see if we can hit 300 soon. And I will see you guys in the next one.